what what do you think what is your your um your special hack on that how young entrepreneurs can get their software a little bit faster than 25 years well yes hopefully now that everything's gotten better it doesn't take that long but uh you know i think the first decision that an entrepreneur should make is whether or not they want to do this on their own or whether they can go out and get funding i think that you know, we chose the route of and still choose the route of just being on our own. And we we we're, we're able to become profitable with our own uh, development, our own time from real earnings that we made from the software. And that's not true for everybody. Sometimes people want to make a different decision and say, I want to go get funding, get a lot of employees to build a product and then go out to market after that. But then you lose a little bit of control and you have to be aware of what you lose and what you gain. So that's the first decision I think anybody should make before you even start. Maybe you'll do that a bit later. Maybe you'll do that at the beginning. Um, if you're you know, lucky enough to, to have that that uh, good idea that somebody wants to invest in. But the, the other part is minimal, uh, minimum viable product. I mean, everybody talks about this. So instead of going out and trying to design your product to be everything, start with something unique and small and really make that good. You're not going to grow super fast because of it, because you've got all these bells and whistles. And there's going to be a lot of customers. They're going to ask for more and you're going to have to work with them to say, this is not there yet. But at the very least, you're going to have something to go to market. If you do want to go get investors, they're going to see that as, okay, this is actually a product that we could build on and there's already revenue and there's already a, a proof of you know concept in this. So I think that the, no matter what route you go, try to build something that's unique, small, and and very you know pinpointed, and go with just that. Um, there's other things you can do, like for example, even things like Salesforce. I've mentioned Salesforce. Salesforce has a tool where you can build your own software within Salesforce. Like they're basically a, a, a you know a development tool within itself. So if you're coding raw coding, because you know you have that resource or that you're, you're able to do that, that's great. But what if you can't? So there's other tools out there like a Salesforce where you're using their platform to build a software. And that could be a route also that you can take if you don't have the resources for full, you know, full stack developers and things like that.